Vince McMahon was not backstage at Raw last Monday as he was preparing to announce the names and logos of all the XFL teams this week. So it was Triple H and Paul Heyman running the show in his absence. And speaking of the XFL, we now know all eight cities and team names, along with descriptions for each that when you hear them, you would think they were for a Lord of the Rings movie. If Vince McMahon wrote the script, and I'm sure Frodo would do nothing but tell poop jokes. So let's run through the list, because these are just too good to pass up. I, I shall... I shall do my best here and try to use my most dramatic voice as I describe each one of these eight teams. First up, we have the Dallas Renegades, which appears to have an illustration of Dark Man as its logo, and it's probably, uh, I will say, probably the coolest logo out of all of them, but looks like Dark Man. I mean, all of these logos are fine. Some of them are on the, the generic side. But here's the description. Deep in the heart of Texas beats a different kind of pulse. A spirit untamed. A swagger that can't be denied. Where big meets bold meets badass. This is outlaw country inside the lines. This is hell on wheels between hash marks. This is their home on the range. The Dallas Renegades raising hell. This is pretty. We have the Houston Roughnecks, resolute, rippling with heat, railing against fatigue, unceasing and often unseen. They labor deep in the trenches, mercenaries in the muck, brawlers in blackened dirt, not just for three hours. What is this, Raw? <laughs> railing against fatigue? That sounds like the fans. Not just when the lights are bright. These are the scratching, grinding, never-bending few. The Houston Roughnecks going to work for you. It actually rhymes. Look at that. Edgar Allan McMahon over here. This guy's writing poetry. As if he's writing this himself. Next is the Los Angeles Wildcats. In the land of bright lights. Far from flash and fame, they've already begun to prowl. Enter their den and be dominated. Run away and be ripped apart. This is prime time meets primal instinct. This is showtime with a snarl. This is our time to roar. The L.A. Wildcats unleashed. <laughs> oh. Then we get to my town. The New York Guardians. Centuries carved of stone. Watchdogs over the metropolis. Like Batman, these guys are. A prehistoric predator. A beast evolves, turned loose in a new kind of jungle. All teeth and talons, eyes unblinking. They know fear because they feed off it. They are your first line of defense, and there is no need for a second. The New York Guardians, on duty... February 2020. Well, at least it's not the New York, New Jersey Guardians, like uh, the last time when it was the Hitmen. I, you know, I still have my sign laying around here somewhere. I know I've tweeted out a picture of it before. It's not even a banner. It's, like, it's a sign in the shape of a football for the New York, New Jersey Hitmen. Plus, I have a little XFL mini football. Might be worth something one day. Don't laugh. Don't laugh, I might be able to buy myself a ciabatta sandwich with that money. We have the St. Louis Battlehawks. Winged warriors preparing for flight. Preparing to fight. They await their orders, then attack as one. Dividing, or diving, what the fuck, I fucked it up. Diving, dodging, swooping, striking. Their mission... Create chaos. This sounds like the fucking pigeons that have been crapping all over my car. There's one reason to hate this team. Their mandate. Win at all costs. The St. Louis Battlehawks cleared to engage. And we have the Tampa Bay Vipers. In the shadows they wait. Demons born in darkness. Hunters by instinct. Cold-blooded by nature. Their bite unavoidable, their grip 
inescapable. They slither and stalk their competition, luring all who challenge them into the jaws of defeat. The Tampa Bay Vipers ready to strike. Why, oh why, would you put another sports team in Tampa Bay? Every major team struggles to get people out to games down there. The Buccaneers don't do well. I mean, they don't they don't play well either, so that's part of it. But the Bucks don't do well. Baseball games don't do well. You, you know where the Rays rank? The Tampa Bay Rays. I had, a, I had a look at I knew they did badly, but I wanted to see how badly. Do you know where they rank this season in attendance out of 30 major league teams? 29. A few months ago, they, they tried offering $5 tickets, and that didn't work. I doubt the Vipers are going to be packing them in either. Yeah, every time I hear the Vipers, I, I just can't help but think of one of the greatest episodes of The Sopranos. When Tony and Christopher jacked those wine bottles from the biker gang. I think they got their guns pointed on them and the biker gang guy goes, Hey pal, you're fucking with the Vipers. Then later on, like, Tony and, Tony and Christopher, they're at dinner. And they're laughing about the whole experience and stealing the wine and everything. And Tony, Tony's, he's mocking one of the, the gang members. We're, we're, we're with the Vipers, we're with the Vipers. <laughs> Oh, the look on his face when he says it, I laugh every time. Yeah, every now and then I go down the rabbit hole on YouTube of, of Sopranos clips. I don't mean to, it just sort of happens, and I turn around and it's an hour later and I'm still watching clips. <sighs> with the wipers, with the wipers. The Seattle Dragons, rising from the turbulent sea beneath the darkening skies of their weather-hardened home. Relentless, ruthless, ravenous, not of mythology but of muscle and might, not of folklore, but of football. This is your darkest fantasy. In cleats. My darkest fantasy. What is this, Fifty Shades of Grey? The Seattle Dragons, breathing fire. And finally, the DC Defenders. On the shoulders of giants, they stand tall, unconquerable, unyielding. Marching ever forward, a force united. One quest, one purpose, one resolve. Seeking glory through grit, victory through valor. The DC Defenders taking their stand. This man is going to lose hundreds of millions of dollars. But if his new play toy keeps him distracted, then I'm all for it. I am all for it. I will be Homer Simpson with the XFL hat and my little XFL flag in my hand. 